here is the log gate arrangement of the Panama Canal. In this video, we'll understand the basic working of the log gates. So, as we all know, the theory of the Panama Canal is just to connect or assist in transiting the ships from Pacific to Atlantic or Atlantic to Pacific Ocean, just to avoid the ships going around the continent of South America, saving in fuel and time. So, let's see how it works. This simple animation is sh uh, showing how the ships get lifted up to the lake level. That's the freshwater lake here. And here is the ocean side. So, uh, we are going to see how the ship is lifted up in level and then the ship reaches this um, the freshwater lake. So, here are various log gates. So, one is shown here, number two and number three. So, there's going to be, uh, the ship is going to get lifted in three levels. One, two, three. The final level is over here and the starting level is here. So, in stages, it's going to get lifted up. Let's now see how it is done. And one peculiar thing which everybody has to note, which we cannot see in the Panama Canal log gate is the valves over here and the channels. Even though a number of times we people have crossed this Panama Canal on both ships, but these are not visible. So here are various channels and every log gate has these channels and these channels are separated by valves number one two three and four so these valves help in transferring the amount of water actually these are done by gravity no external pump is used for this purpose so let's see now how does this work now the ship comes with the help of tug assistance now this lock gate opens, as this valve opens the water level drops, the water from here flows down out to the sea. So once due to gravity the levels become same, the lock gates open and the ship gets inside. As the ship gets inside the lock, the gates close here and the valve also closes here. Now the ship is locked, so that's why these are called as log gates. In fact, ship and the water within the gates have been locked. And as you can see, the valve over here is now opened up. So the water from here just moves inside this log gate and then the ship gets lifted up. Let's see that. You can see the water level dropping here and then it's rising here. And the valve is open here. All of the valves are shut. So, as it reaches the same level, the lock gates are opened up so that the ship sails to the next lock gate or it's being pulled by the locomotives. Alright, so it gets inside the next lock gate and it gets locked up. As this is locked up, this valve is closed and again this valve is opened up. So, the water from here again goes to this lock gate and then it gets lifted up. Let's see that. Now again it happens by this way and once the level are same, this lock gate opens, the gate opens and then the ship sails forward. So as it, it is done, this valve is closed and then now the lock gate is closed. As this lock gate is closed, again this valve is opened up. So as this is opened up, the water level drops within this gate and then the ship moves forward again. So the level raises and the gate opens and then the ship sails out. So this is how uh, the basic working of the Panama Canal lock gates and uh, you can also assume the same thing for the ship to descend down, I mean the climb down or get down of the lakes. So from this point, I mean from this point the ship sails only in fresh water because the lake is uh, freshwater lake. We have this Gatun Lake, that's freshwater lake 
and uh, we have a long passage let's say it takes uh, somewhere around uh, half a day for transiting this lake and there are some uh, critical anchorage points where the ships can anchor if they don't get a transit or the ship's engine fail or some problem happens and uh, let's now see how the ships pass through the Panama Canal live let's now watch the time-lapse video or the fast-forwarded video of a small boat on ship to the Panama Canal so here's the lock gate and uh, as the water level is equal the gates open and the ship proceeds through and now here is one more you can see the water level difference if the water level gets lower due to gravity and the gates open and here's the final lock the water level goes down and the gates open mind that the gates are hydraulically operated with uh, the gear mechanism and here is one more video of a cruise ship through the Panama Canal you can see lots of passengers on the bow of the ship just watching the entire passage through the Panama Canal so I uh, hope you guys can remember all these places when you have passed through the Panama Canal and I would like to thank my friend Steven Garcia for contributing this video